What's going on YouTube? John from JoinTheMarker.com here and in this video guys I'm going to show you the difference between ClickFunnels and Kajabi in terms of membership areas I'm also going to tell you why I have switched over to Kajabi in terms of my membership area But before we actually get into that make sure that you're subscribed if you're a new uh, visitor Definitely subscribe and if you have any comments as you watch this video definitely leave those down below so I can interact with you um, so funny story, I actually built out a whole entire membership area inside of ClickFunnels. I'll actually show you that membership area. It looks amazing. I love the way it looks. Um, but what happened was someone actually got access to my content. Now this course is not done. This course is not complete. This course is not finalized. Um, but I did start to kind of prep things and, you know, start to put things in place and someone actually got access. Um, which is kind of concerning. I love ClickFunnels. I love the program. I just really hope that they can kind of address that. I did uh, reach out to support um, on my personal account and, you know, they were able to help me with that. But it made me look for other options. And one of those options that I actually settled on was Kajabi. Kajabi is a membership area platform that really pushes the limits in terms of look and aesthetic. So I signed up for Kajabi. I got a 28 day uh, trial. And I love it so far. It looks really, really clean. So I'm going to actually show you the membership area in ClickFunnels. And I'm also going to show you the membership area in Kajabi. And then you can see the difference between the two. And you can kind of get a feel for them both. So this is my membership area login for What's going to ClickFunnels. Jack, so this looks really good. I was really video, happy the way this came the out. Between... Um, it looks really clean. And, and just the way, like the, the vibe of it just fits what I was going for in terms of look. Um, so that is what the login looks like. So if I were to log in um, and log into my account, this is actually my uh, membership area, right? So this is what the membership lo looks like once you actually you know create a membership area. This is actually some custom CSS that I uh, designed. So essentially I can have different colors for different sections inside of the membership area. This is not something that um, is standard, just so you guys know about that. Um, but overall, this looked really good. It took me some time to do this. I was really happy with the way it came out. It looks really clean, but I was just so distraught that someone else got potential access to my information, even though there's really nothing in here. It just says lessons coming soon. There's no type of inf information yet. Um, but someone was able to bypass member the membership area. So like I said, I went to Kajabi and this is the, what the Kajabi sign-in looks like. So if you look at this, the sign-in from ClickFunnels, you look in the sign-in from Kajabi, you can tell that there's a huge difference. And I will have to probably come in here and add um, the background image that I had inside of ClickFunnels. I can probably definitely make it look similar um, with some CSS, but I just gotta play around with it. It looks a bit different in terms of customization uh, on how you're able to do all that. So. You can see that there's a lot of different options. Their backend looks um, different than ClickFunnels as well. But once you sign in, this is what it looks like. So this is why I switched over to Kajabi, just because of the way it looks, okay? This is so cool um, that it's like a real course, right? Like this, this looks okay. Like this looks, you know, it's all right. But when you kind of put it to this, when you compare that, it looks amazing, right? So we got one of three, 13 lessons complete. This is still being built, by the way, guys. So um, excuse some of the blanks uh, that you see there. But you can see that we have a resume course. You know, we, we can click inside of some of these subsections. Um, you see that we have, uh, you know, even more subsections that people can click on. If we click on this, you see that there are some um, pending lessons on the right hand side. There's a play uh, video button. So th this actually is inside of Kajabi, right? So like I don't have to use YouTube. I don't have to use Vimeo or a third party source. I literally just upload my video to Kajabi and it comes like this. So Sorry. there's less likelihood of someone to actually steal this video. Um, and you know, do do crazy things with it. So this is looking amazing. I can't wait to actually finish this um, for the final product, but this is what it looks like. And then we have a complete button. We have a next lesson. Whereas in ClickFunnels, unfortunately, you have to do some custom code to actually get those ne next lesson, previous lessons, um, you know, complete lessons. And you don't even have a complete. Like in, in, in Kajabi, you can actually click complete and this will actually um, mark it as complete, right? So we can say, you know, it says, great job, keep going. And if I want to go to the next lesson, I just click the next lesson um, and I can, you know, mark this as complete, right? So this is what Kajabi looks like. And there's different themes that you can actually get from Kajabi for your membership area. So you can actually, um, 
tailor it to what you're looking at. I just like the way this theme looks and you can also customize the themes as well. But this looks really cool and I'm really happy with the way it looks. Now, let's go back to ClickFunnels. I'm not, this video is not to um, drag ClickFunnels or, you know, say anything bad about ClickFunnels. I absolutely love ClickFunnels. I love everything about it. I love the way it functions. I love, I just love everything. Um, but that being said, you don't have to rely on one platform or service to actually get what you need done and to the quality that you need done, right? Like, so with Kajabi, I really don't have to worry about the quality. I know the quality is there as long as I upload the videos and I kind of just modify a few things things I know what I'm getting um, whereas in ClickFunnels you have to add custom code you actually have to add you know different things to get the look that you're looking for and it's definitely not as modern as Kajabi as you can see it looks kind of flat to be honest and um, that's unfortunate I know that they do have plans ClickFunnels has plans to actually upgrade their membership uh, back end so that it kind of looks more like this you know kind of looks more modern and looks more appealing to the customer or to the person that's taking your course um, but we don't have an ETA on that. We don't have a, a destination or time period for that. So not saying that this, you know, that won't happen. It probably, most likely it will happen, but we don't have a time. Whereas right now I have this, people can sign up. They can, you know, have a look and feel like they bought something of quality. Not saying that you can't get that same feel from here, but I just feel that when people buy a course, they expect a certain level of aesthetic. And this is the aesthetic that I am going for and I want my people who purchase this course once it's done to have as well. So I just wanted to make this quick video to kind of explain why I'm using Kajabi and I'll be having some more Kajabi videos in the future just to kind of give you guys an idea of how it works and back end works and how you can connect ClickFunnels and Kajabi, Zapier, etc. all that stuff. So look forward for that. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe and hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.